that could potentially create some problems. One of the ways a woman can anticipate these problems is to simply be aware of some of the issues that can affect her fertility. Some of these issues include her age. As women get older, it becomes more difficult to get pregnant. Um, habits such as smoking, alcohol, things like that in excess can certainly impact a woman's fertility. Other lifestyle um, situations like their body weight, you know, do they exercise, are they eating healthy, uh, those things can also impact fertility. Also the length of time they've been trying to get pregnant. If a woman is younger, under 35, and she's been trying to get pregnant for a year but, but isn't getting pregnant, that might alert her that there's a problem. Um, over 35 it tends to be a lower threshold, six months, three months, depending on how old she is. Um, so by simple awareness of these factors that can influence her fertility, a woman can start to get a feeling of, well, do, do I have an issue that I need help with? Oftentimes, once a patient has made it to my office for an appointment, um, they have some concerns for various reasons. But one of the very common things I'm asked is, how much longer do I have to be able to get pregnant? How many eggs do I have left? Um, this, these are very difficult questions to answer. What this speaks to is a woman's biological clock. We all have a biological clock and it ticks a little, ticks a little bit differently um, from woman to woman. Um, but as for, for fertility specialists, it's one of the most difficult problems to deal with for two reasons. One, we don't have a great definition of what the biological clock is. We refer to it as ovarian reserve. So we don't have a great definition of decreased ovarian reserve. And part of the reason we don't is because there is no single one test that can give us a definitive answer about a woman's ovarian reserve. So what we are faced with doing is analyzing that question from various angles, whether it be the woman's history that she brings with her, her medical history, her age, and also some of the testing that we can do can start to delve into that issue. And what those things can tell us is that at any snapshot in time, we might be able to tell a woman, okay, you are having a significant issue now, you should probably conceive sooner rather than later, um, versus things are looking pretty good right now, um, I don't see any immediate concerns that need to be dealt with, but what we can't tell by, you know, by any of the tools that we have is what that timeline looks like. Where will she be six months from now? Where will she be a year from now? And that's one of the uh, biggest challenges that we have. The way fertility specialists can help women um, deal with these questions about her biological clock or her ovarian reserve is by first taking a careful history of what her medical issues are and then there's some laboratory testing that's available as well. As I had said, there is no one single test that can give us a definitive answer about ovarian reserve. However, there are several tests that in conjunction with one another, they can potentially give us some very useful information in combination with their medical history where we can give a woman a pretty good idea of whether at that point in time she should get help sooner rather than later or whether things look okay at, at that instant in time. Of course we can't tell her where she'll be six months down the road but sometimes it's useful to have that information about where you are at a given snapshot of time. Now one of the things that we offer is a screening test to um, help women see what their ovarian reserve situation is immediately and that screening test includes a blood test which checks follicle stimulating hormone level, estradiol level, inhibin B, and anti-malarian hormone levels in the blood. And in conjunction um, all together, these, um, these results can give us a snapshot of what her fertility situation is at that point in time. The bottom line is that we can help the vast majority of patients that come to see us take home a happy, healthy baby.